Property taxes front and center today in Nassau County. After a countywide reassessment with more than half of homeowners' taxes increasing, critics want the job of tax assessor to be elected and no longer a political appointee. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports from Mineola. Susan Johnson's modest home in Massapequa just saw a big tax increase. It more than doubled. I'm very upset about that. Because it's new construction, tax hikes come all at once with no phase in like other property taxes that went up in a countywide reassessment. It's not fair because there are houses that are three times the size of my house and they're paying way less. Taxes on this Massapequa home also doubled. $26,000. I live in 1,400 square feet. Most houses are twice as big as mine, and yet I'm paying more taxes. Tax woes prompting calls for a change in who oversees Nassau property assessment. Republicans blasting what they call an error laden tax roll. Errors in the assessment that are now going to cost county taxpayers in excess of $40 million to fix. They want a referendum, the public to decide if the position should be an elected post instead of a political appointee. It's an elected assessor, somebody who's responsible to the people, someone who's accountable. Um, we need to get beyond this mess. Most agree reassessment was needed after years of inaccuracies, but with Democrat County Executive Laura Curran up for re-election, opponents highlight homes that saw taxes rise. They failed to override the county executive's veto on putting the assessor question on the ballot. Democrats say electing an assessor will just politicize the job. The Republicans were, were looking for something to, to complain about from day one. Uh, they, it, was, it was a bipartisan uh, um, legislation to allow for the reassessment. They voted for it because they realized it was a corrupt, dysfunctional system for a decade. So we changed that. The reassessment in Nassau County was eminently fair. Most assessor positions in the state are appointed professionals. A decade ago, Nassau voters changed it from an elected position. How are you supposed to be able to afford this? A bill to also allow a phase-in of tax increases on new construction awaits the governor's signature. That should help homeowners like Johnson cope with the initial surge in taxes, but won't make the ultimate tax bill any more affordable. In Massapequa, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.